the St. John River Valley, gateway to the Maritimes. Here you'll find friendship, fabulous food, and fun for the whole family. Come along with me as I take you on a guided tour. Follow the river, the St. John River, 400 kilometers of inspiration, a land rich in history and culture just waiting to be explored. Start your visit in Grand Falls, a bilingual community in the Upper Valley. Gaze in awe at the legendary Grand Falls Gorge, where the river plunges over rugged cliffs. You'll be amazed by the natural wonder and beauty. To experience it in a big way, take the pontoon boat tour and hike on some of the surrounding trails. When you come to Grand Falls, you really must make the trip down into the gorge. There's a boat ride you can take, traveling through one and a half kilometers of some of the most amazing rock formations, towering trees and cliffs, and a nice quiet place to contemplate nature. Grand Falls Gorge is a natural wonder, one of New Brunswick's top attractions. It is a great way to launch your visit to the St. John River Valley. Just down the road, the village of Aroostook is close to the Canada-US border. As a matter of fact, the golf course straddles it. Here, the pro shop and parking lot sit in the United States, while the clubhouse and golf course are in Canada. Swim or canoe along one of the rivers, stroll the trails, and play a round of golf at this unique course. Just downriver, Perth Andover is at the head of three incredible trail systems, where old growth forests, shingled storefronts, and rich Scottish heritage surround you. The Gathering of the Scots Festival is an annual celebration honoring the Scottish cultural community of Western New Brunswick and it gives you a taste of a friendly, down-home atmosphere that makes this place so memorable. Tobik First Nation is settled on a tongue of land where the Tobik and St. John Rivers join. Residents call their village Nagutkug, its Maliseet name. Several craft shops sell original products made by community artists, and on Labor Day weekend, they stage the Wabanaki Aboriginal Music Festival. Slow down and experience the life that the people of this region treasure. Whether you're relaxing along one of the waterfronts, strolling through the historical museum and courthouse, or spoiling yourself at a one-of-a-kind country inn. A pleasant 25-minute drive northwest from Perth Andover will lead you along the banks of the Tobik River to Plaster Rock. This community is a prime destination for outdoor enthusiasts every season of the year. Each February, people from all over the globe come here to relive their childhood at the World Pond Hockey Championship. These players know that the people of this area have it figured out, that some of the best times in life are had by slowing down and enjoying what they already have. Ski trails abound in this area, and many are skiing along Plaster Rock's beautiful trail network throughout the winter. One weekend in June, the Tobik River comes alive in a way like you've never seen before. It's a one-of-a-kind festival called Fiddles on the Tobik. They're off into the water. People are launching into their canoes. This is Fiddles on the Tobik. We're in central New Brunswick, right near Mount Carlton, and people are getting ready for an annual event that they love. This goes on and on. For almost 13 years, people have been coming here. They jump in with a bunch of fiddlers, maybe some bagpipes, the odd piano, and make music all the way down the river. This three-day jam session draws musicians from across Canada, the United States, and as far away as Egypt, South Africa, and New Zealand. The natural beauty, hunting, and fishing in this area have drawn greats like Babe Ruth, L.L. Bean, and John D. Rockefeller. Now you know why so many people choose to live here and never want to leave. Once you've visited, you may feel the same way. Take Highway 105 from Perth Andover to the village of Bath. 
stop and enjoy beautiful views of the river and picnic near the garden clock at Beechwood, next to the site of the hydroelectric dam. Bath provides you with scenic countryside and wonderful views. The river seems to move a little slower here, reminding us to do the same. Lawrenceville, Bristol is the French fry capital of the world. The McCain brothers founded the frozen French fry industry right here, and McCain is the major supplier to some of the world's most popular restaurants. You'll even smell the French fries in the air. Riverside Park is adjacent to the Shiktahawk Stream and the St. John River. The New Brunswick Trail System can be accessed at the entrance to the park. It is a favorite path for the short walk to the Shogamok Railway site and then on to the Shiktahawk Trail. Explore railway history with a visit to the restored train station and rail cars. Located on Main Street, this museum is filled with railroad artifacts from the past. Enjoy a gourmet meal in the dining car. While you're here, see a one-of-a-kind, single-span covered bridge constructed of both wood and steel. The boardwalk provides ideal background for photo opportunities of the river. A short walk from the bridge, visit the Andrew and Laura McCain Library and Art Gallery to view the various art displays from across Canada. The gallery features work by preeminent New Brunswick artists as well as local artists and artisans. Exhibits range from contemporary to work of historical significance to fine crafts and to folk. And admission is free. It's only fitting that you drop into Potato World while you're here. Explore the interactive displays and learn about the impact the humble potato has had on the survival of our early settlers. You'll also discover how this region has combined science with hard work to put the best possible potatoes on your table today. Right next door, Centerville is situated on the big Presque Isle stream. It's in the heart of one of the richest and most productive agricultural regions in New Brunswick. Visit a craft store and enjoy the nearby churchyard. Centerville produces a lot of manufactured steel, and some of their craftsmanship is shown off right before your eyes. River, the St. John River, rich in history and culture to the middle of the Upper River Valley starting in Heartland. Heartland has been a national winner of Communities in Bloom, but is even more famous for something else. You've heard about it, but you really need to come and see it for yourself. The Heartland Covered Bridge is the longest covered bridge in the world, measuring in at 1,282 feet long. It's a National Historic Site built back in 1901. When it was built, it was an engineering wonder. Over 100 years later, it's still taking its share of traffic across the St. John River and is one of New Brunswick's top attractions. Take Trans-Canada Highway, exit 172. Also, stop into the Visitor Information Centre and pick up a map that will lead you to five other covered bridges in the area. While you're here, take time to visit the Dr. Walter Chestnut Library, a historic building with a special focus on genealogies. You might even discover something exciting about your past. You won't want to miss a tour of the nearby Covered Bridge Potato Chip Company, where you can discover and watch how they're made. Sample them hot off the line with any seasoning you desire. You'll want to take home some of the finest kettle chips you've ever tasted. Settled on the banks of the Meduxnakeg and St. John Rivers, at the intersection of the Trans-Canada Highway and I-95, Woodstock, New Brunswick's first town, is rich in heritage and tradition, a blend of Loyalist and First Nations history. Woodstock boasts some of the finest 19th century Victorian heritage homes, churches and civic buildings in the world. Settled by Loyalists in 1784, shortly after the American Revolution, Woodstock is a vibrant, prosperous community, the service center of the Upper St. John River Valley. 
Woodstock provides the retail and commercial foundation of the agricultural, forestry, and transportation sectors. This is one of the many examples of beautiful Victorian homes in historic Woodstock. You can go for a nice walking tour, maybe wander down the banks of the St. John River, really get a feel for some of the heritage that's been so well preserved here in this town. While you're here, visit the shops, boutiques, and restaurants of the historic downtown. Stroll the waterfront boardwalk, visit the farmer's market, picnic on the greenway, or launch your own boat from the public docks right in the heart of downtown. Connell House is a National Historic Site. It's currently under restoration and is home of the Carleton County Historical Society. The Old County Courthouse is at Upper Woodstock and has been faithfully restored. Drop in to the L.P. Fisher Public Library, a gift of Woodstock's greatest benefactor and take the walking tour of Woodstock's historic Victorian homes. If you're a naturalist, enjoy the beauty of the rivers and the many walking trails. Visit the Meduxnakeg Valley Nature Preserve nearby. Explore its natural Appalachian hardwood forest and trails through mature hardwood and softwood forests. Each spring, the sugar maple trees along the St. John River Valley bring forth maple sap, providing one of the tastiest treats anywhere. And it's not just for kids. The sap is boiled down for maple syrup and is poured in the snow for everyone to enjoy. Give it a minute to get cold. Look for these products that are available here year-round. Woodstock is renowned for its warm and generous hospitality. It's especially popular during Old Home Week in August and during the Festival of Lights Victorian Christmas, beginning in late November. Why not take the time to stop by, stay with us, and experience Woodstock for yourself? Meductic, originally known as Eel River, has breathtaking views of the St. John, which can be enjoyed from the village's waterfront park. Unravel the history of this area, from the capture of John Giles held at the Maliseet stronghold of Fort Meductic in 1689, to the portage route between the St. John and St. Croix rivers, named the Maliseet Trail, to the tales of Charlie the Pirate who hid from the British at what is now called Charlie Lake. Meductic is also home to Sabian, manufacturers of the world-renowned cymbals. Some of the best-known musicians in the industry have visited here. Follow the river, the majestic St. John River, to the lower valley and our beautiful lakes. Canterbury is the gateway to lake country. You're looking at beautiful Skiff Lake. This is actually one of a chain of lakes which includes First and Second Eel, North and East Grand Lake. Canterbury's history is rich in logging and lumber, and a number of historic buildings remain in this quiet community. A pleasant country drive will lead you to the St. Francis of Assisi Shrine. Irish immigrants hewed this chapel out of the forest in 1864. It's a historic site that has drawn an annual pilgrimage for over 80 years. Nakawick is home to the world's largest axe, symbolizing the role forestry plays in this region. The big axe is located in a beautiful waterfront park that contains a dock, arena, baseball diamonds, and play area. This international garden features over 50 species of trees from around the world. The pulp mill across the river is part of a worldwide network that produces raw materials for the fabrication of rayon. Nakawick grew virtually overnight in the late 60s with the construction of the Matraquac Dam and pulp mill. Golf near the Nakawick stream on irrigated fairways framed by mature spruce and white pines. Nakawick also has a shopping mall with an opportunity for you to stock up on groceries and other essentials. Enjoy the lunch specials at the local cafe and take home some locally made crafts. Set amid rolling hills and tidy farms, Millville enjoys a reputation as a retreat for lovers of nature and romantic getaways. The world's largest maple leaf is in Bicentennial Park, 
and recognizes Millville as one of the top places in New Brunswick to view these magnificent fall colors. Hike and bike on the Trans-Canada Trail beside the Nakwick Stream. Absorb the vibrant autumn colors from Ayers Lake, Lookout or Howland Ridge and appreciate Millville, a four-season getaway destination. Nestled in a majestic setting on the banks of the St. John River, King's Landing Historical Settlement recreates life as it was in rural Canada in the 19th century. King's Landing is a working village that features special events throughout the year and offers hands-on experience for young and old. The 1855 King's Head Inn specializes in tantalizing traditional meals and tableside entertainment. The restaurant is happy to welcome groups of any size and the experience is tasty, authentic and memorable. This is such an ideal spot to while away the afternoon. Everything is nice and peaceful and quiet and yet there's so much activity. You can jump on a horse-drawn cart or just walk your way through the pathways, check out the horses, the sheep, the cattle. Everything here is like you've stepped back in time. It's a really beautiful spot to come and visit. The grist mill is still operating, and the gift shop and retail areas in the historic village offer their wares and many other unique ways to take home a memory. King's Landing has been recognized nationally and internationally for its beauty, preservation, and authentic recreation of New Brunswick's past. The St. John River Valley features festivals that celebrate our roots. Roots that include First Nations, French Colonial, Loyalists, Scottish, and the Irish. From the work of local artisans to community breakfasts and suppers, you'll experience many of these traditions. There's championship golf courses and an abundance of accommodations, including motels, bed and breakfasts, lodges and campgrounds. Well, thanks for coming and taking this tour. Now it's time to come and visit us in person. Follow the river, the St. John River, 400 kilometers of inspiration. We're glad you're here and we look forward to seeing you.